Hi everyone out there. This is Terry, the old guy from egadjewelry.com. Here's another piece that's going to be coming off of my hold real quick. However, I've got to do a couple of repairs on it before I sell it. I'm going to show you the parts that I consider important when reselling jewelry. This is a Scorpion pendant, weighs 7.8 grams. It's 14 karat gold. And you can see in comparison to the size of quarter, it's not that small. Now, the two parts that I'm concerned with are the parts that get all the abuse. First one is this bale itself. And if you look down inside this bale, you can see where that bale is actually being worn down from rubbing against this jump ring. And this jump ring, it goes without saying, that's worn down so much that it's time to replace it. If you notice my little saw board here, you might think about doing one of these. They're really nice to saw board. You can shift it. It's always flat. If you need to tighten it up, you can tighten it up and make it stiffer. But it's worked for me for about the last 20 years, and it can work for you too. Okay. So now you Moving on, as you can see, I've removed the jump ring that was there, which contained the bale. That's gone. Right now I have three different gauges of wire, 16, 18, and 20 gauge. And this is the three of them. I think I'm going to go with the one in the middle here, which would be 18 gauge wire. We're gonna twist this around on a round nose set of pliers and uh, make one jump ring. To Okay, this is what I got going on. I have my jump ring that I'm going to put right here. And in order for me to do that, down here on the charcoal block, I have a couple pieces of solder. One there, one there. I need to solder the joint on this one first. This is a flux. I've already coated the piece with a little bit of boric acid and alcohol just to make sure that, you know, I wouldn't get too much discoloration. So now let's pick up one of these pieces of solder. Let's put it in place. Okay, we're there. Yes, we are. I'll take this one too. Well, I don't think I need it. Well, let's just heat it up. Let's fill it in. Now, as you can see, there's some solder left up on this one. So let's see if I can do this without blocking the view. I want to get one side first. And if you notice, I'm resting my arms, my elbows, my hands. I'm resting everything. And this is so that I don't shake all over the damn place. You know, you get older. It's a bitch. But that side is done. And now I'll go and do the other side. Okay. Now we have to solder the other side of that jump ring to the claw of the scorpion. I didn't want to do it before because I didn't have it lined up perfectly and everything goes together really nice if you if you put it all together right to begin with. Okay, you notice I got a little bit of a clamp up on this side. That's the side that's already been soldered so we don't want that to come loose. And I got this little piece of solder right here. Let me pick it up. This is where we're going for the last claw right there. Now I'll drop that piece of solder right there. It looks good. Let's heat it. There we go. And she soldered. Okay. All we got to do now is make a bale. Go through here. And this piece will be good as new.
why I like this sawing board, and you can see how long the lines are in it, because when I go all the way through, like I said, when I go all the way through, I always try to be back here near the end. So that way when I cut through, I'm not cutting into my finger. I've been in this business for a while. You've cut your finger many times. And every time you do it, it's your own damn mistake. Uh, I'm through, broken blade and all. Okay, we'll continue on this one. Okay, the last part of this job is to just solder the uh, jump ring together that I made for this particular pendant. And to do that, I've already used a coating of boric acid and alcohol, and I'll, I'll set it on fire so you can enjoy that. The seam is on the top. I hit it with some flux. The seam, I hit the solder with a little bit of flux. It makes it easier sometimes to pick them up. And go. Now, I'm going after the seam. There it is. Watch it go. That's it. I'm all done. This pendant's ready to be sold. Hey now, guys. This is Terry from EGAD Jewelry. The old guy. Okay. As you can see, right now, this piece, originally, it weighed 7.8 grams, but right now, after I replaced this jump ring here and this jump ring right there for the bale, I beefed them up a little bit. Now it weighs 8 grams. But this piece, I've soldered those on, I've polished them up, I've cleaned it, and now this piece is ready to be listed on egadjewelry.com. And we'll probably put this one up for sale within the next couple of days. If you people have any questions about the work I do on jewelry, and if I can be of help to you, if you have a problem with working on jewelry, let us know. EGADJewelry.com. Contact the Millennial. She'll get in touch with me. Yeah, that's Jenny, the Millennial. Contact her. Beautiful, isn't it? Looks really nice. There's the back side. There's the front side. And that ring right there will hold a rather large chain. And if you decide that you want to go with a flatter link, you can always squeeze this down to an oval and it'll be even longer. This is what I've done for you today. Get back to us. Let us know if there's anything we can do to help you with your your endeavors. Have a good day.